Yeah, you don't even see the coach <laughs> budge. and gentlemen we hit the jackpot today and found a dual coach unlike anything we've ever seen yes you have josh snyder this What's is up, an buddy? incredible coach what is going on here sir a lot it's a rolling piece of art that's what it is it starts out with the exterior number 31 by mr ryan louts and tim owens and his team paint guys are amazing he coached 1761 a 2023 mid-entry quad slide bath and a half coach and this is a custom coach yes. by a Newell owner that's owned several Newell coaches? Yes, they have owned several Newell coaches. They're very experienced and very comfortable in their build. and knew what they want, so we have a nice theme going inside. And as well as outside, if you kind of walk around through here and you have to forgive us before I go any further, we're still in production with this coach. So you might notice this coach uh, has not been cut and buffed yet, but it will be cut and puffed, I believe, next week. And But Andrew was here. We had this amazing piece of art to show you, and we're not gonna let a cut and buff stop us. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to showing the folks the inside of this coach. There was a little bit of inspiration on the design, or what's the story? There was a little bit of inspiration there by one of our favorite designers, and so Amber kind of went with that and went with it, and it got really creative, and it kind of tied some pretty creative things on the exterior too, but with the interior, it's gonna be probably one of our more uh, fun coaches. There's a lot to it, and it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see. I'm excited to see this mid-entry. Let's take a closer look at this coach. Well, yeah, let's take a closer look. Let's start back here. If you kind of see right back through here in the rear cap area, they show angel wings. They love angels. So this right here has a nice little angel wing look to it. Really pops very, very well. Yeah, these angel wings remind me of a couple new coaches that I've seen. Is that something that the this owner's had on previous coaches? Yes, they have. And I believe one of your first videos, going through the detail of how you detail a coach, uh, you featured this person's coach uh, in that video. Kind of looks a little familiar, have that same trend going, and that's pretty cool. They carry it on. It's kind of like their little signature. Yeah, well, coach. I, I'm excited to see more of the details of this coach. Uh, kind of get a good look at it right through here. Your numbers, all the res, the black. Look at this gray right here. These different gray and silvers mixed with this black. And it's a good metallic look. I don't know if the camera can pick that metallic look up right there as we're right here in the sun. But it gives a good pop to it. It really does. And it's like I say, after we cut and buff this coach, it'll be a lot better. You'll see even more of that pop. Um, one, one thing I want to point out too is when we take a step back, it's a very slow fade from the silver into the gray. Very slow fade. You kind of see it as it goes downward like that. But then if you look right there, you have a different shade of black going into a, a deeper black. Yeah, like a real light silver into a dark gray. That goes like that, and then this starts a little bit lighter and funnels into Oh yeah then, yeah, then you've got gray stripes right here with the red pinstripes, and that gray right here slowly turns into a black. This this might be one of my new favorite uh, Newell Coach paint jobs. You guys are really stepping up in your paint department here. Tim and the boys, they're awesome, man. These guys, and I can't give enough shout out to our paint department and all of our guys. The paint's really had it thrown to them lately and they've done an amazing job stepping up. You see these guys working a lot of Fridays, weekends, and things like that just to bring these pieces of art out to our customers. And this right here just shows the level of detail they put into these coaches, the hours they put in. But it's how we did that simple fade right here, and you just noticed that right off the bat. But then you kind of look, you have like a mystery line up there. kind of twists up around the uh, front window, and then it goes straight linear to the back. Yeah, really good looking coach. Andrew, look at this fade right here with the burgundy. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Kinda look right here. Can you kind of notice right here, this burgundy up through here, and it's fading back into the black right through there. Oh yeah. And then you even have a, a little bit lighter, and then you have that white right there. But a lot of fades going on this coach. I mean, this coach has a lot of personality. It really has a lot of personality. It has a lot of pop to it. And really excited to show it off for you guys today. I really like that awning line right through there. And this right here, those are just uh, boxes up there. We don't have two awnings on this side, although it is an option if you want it. And you have a nice stainless steel trim right there at the bottom. But you see how those buttons right there, you can barely even notice the buttons. I really like we don't have the latches, 
because those buttons let us carry the paint job all the way through. What year did Newell Coach go from the regular uh, latches to the push button latches? Uh, we went actually on Coach 1721. That is a 2022 Newell. And it was actually a customer's idea. And they just wanted to not have the latches on there, push button. And it's still the same latch system. I don't know if you look in our previous videos, all you had to do was just barely pull that handle out and the coach would come up. All you're doing is just releasing the latch. And so that button does that right there. You want to show us what's in these basement bays? Yes. That's the previous videos. We're going to notice this basement bay right here is got a really long bay right here for a mid entry. It's uh, a little over 45 inches. So what they have a lot going on right here is, just like I say, these people have built uh, newels before. This is side A, so I'm gonna go side A out. And you kind of see they have a little place for their lounge chair. They really customize the bay story and the slide tray. This coach does have a pressure washer yeah right through here. i gotta show that i gotta point that out and if you saw that video when i was washing rvs just over three years ago for a living this is the same power washer wand that i use professionally doing it day in and day out so i like that they're using industrial equipment even for the power washer now this coach has di water and a, a system kind of like what i had when i was detailing it coaches does. professionally yes. yes it does this is not their first new as we talked before and what they did, they really got creative with the base space on a mid-entry. And so they kind of widened it out a little bit. We can do that because we built our own chassis. I know I always refer back to that, but it's very important. It shows the freedom and the range that we do have as a company. So we got some lounge chair holders right there. Great space right back here for great storage. I mean, look at this. I mean, this right here is your little gray box you get of goods. But if you look right here, you see how we roll all this stuff out right there? This is the back side of the grill. And we're gonna look at it on the other side, but you'll notice they have a, a Dometic freezer and a um, electric grill right there with a little flashlight kind of right there that they wanted. They want us to look at things. And we do have our LED light strip right there as well. So we have a lot going on in the back of this bay, but he still has a lot of good storage opportunities right here in the storage availability. In bay number two is this is where the water bay is. So the sewer hose is up a little bit further than normal, but not much different. And then you have your mana block system with your 110 volt water pump and your 12 volt water pump in here. You can gravity fill up here if you would like. And this is your holding tank clean out right here. Nice. Now this right here is everything's push button, easy to dump. Simply pull that out, plug it in, boom, you're going. Keep going right here now. You will see a lot of wires right there because we don't have our cover on our end one yet. Just like I said, this coach is in production, but we're trying to maximize storage. So once again, there we go, right yeah. there. Yeah, and I love all the little details, like how that's finished out with that polished stainless. Oh yeah. And then we do have a little clear tube right there. If anything, you might drop a bottle of wine or something in your thing because our floors go up and down. That drainage has got a pan down there. It'll catch any liquid and it'll go right through so therefore don't drip all over your electronics oh. or leak down now, another cool thing they did right here was they were able to really get creative we were talking about the di dice tanks for the uh, pressure washer but well, they're stored right there so we do have an electric slide tray it's not a pass-through storage but still you can store a lot of good stuff probably a toolbox and some other accessories and he come out and hold a lot of weight so it's a very sturdy box i really compliment this couple right here and how creative they got with the mid-entry in the exterior bays and all that this coach is just a special coach all around. The paint, the interior, how they did their storage and everything. A lot of people can learn a lot from this coach right here. So remember 1761. Yes, sir. This is gonna be our fuel system right here. This is our fuel station area. Let's pop that up. We do put a bib right there so you don't get that nasty diesel fuel all over that beautiful stainless steel, along with your DEF stuff, because DEF does crystallize and leave some nasty stains. This bib's like a little baby, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. How many gallons of diesel fuel can this coach hold? This coach right here holds 200 gallons of diesel and 15 gallons of DEF. Nice. So you can get down the road pretty good. And do you know what the fuel mileage is? The fuel mileage is so crazy, it determines your right foot. I've heard some people brag about six miles to the gallon, some as high as seven and a half, some as low as five. So your right foot's gonna dictate your fuel mileage. Well, and if you're towing a stack or trailer as well, trailer what's the towing capacity on this? 25,000 pounds now. Leading in the class A yeah. industry. Class five plus uh, hitch there, bud. Yes, sir. So um, it is a three inch uh, hitch adapter. Yeah, and real quick, before we take a look at that, when you were doing some circles out here in this coach, we were showing it off, 
the turning radius on this coach is just incredible. Yeah, it's a 45 foot vehicle and it can turn in a 38 foot diameter circle. And that tag axle, what that does is, it brings so much freedom to the coach. What I mean by freedom is it's not scuffing the tires up, it's not making the coach hop. It allows the coach to freely flow. And if you're having a stacker trailer and things like that, you really find that active steerable tag axle will be very beneficial. The key thing about it, and I keep saying active is, active means it works both forward and backwards. So when you turn that steering wheel, that rear tag axle is actively turning? Actively turning and actively going. Not, all the time. not passive following it at, yeah. when, you, when you put it in reverse, right away it'll turn? It'll turn, yes sir. Nice, um, nice. You notice that probably when I was doing some donuts around here, you were able to show that right there. But really it's cool is the fact it's not wearing out your tag tire too. So you can rotate your tires on our on a Newell coach, believe it or not. Nice. So that's a 365 uh, steerable tag tire. And that's a 365 steer tire up front with the 315 drive tires. Nice. So four 365s, four drives, 315s. Little, 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 little tire education there. Yes, sir. All our new gurus out there, new customers. Also, uh, we're talking about the hitch there a little bit. This is a class five plus hitch. So it does have a three inch diameter hole right there, which is standard for any class five plus hitch. We do offer an adapter of three to two if you need a two inch shaft of a receiver right there. We have you covered. Let's go and check this Cummings engine out back here, buddy. Yeah, Cummins X15. 605. I love that Porsche design exterior. Such a good looking coach. Yeah, and all dressed up with that chrome there like we've seen on our good friend Mark Martin's coach. I don't know if this has quite as much chrome. This is pretty dense. This is what Mark has. Yeah. They did the stainless steel package and they got it. The main pulley right there having a little chrome up there and then have a nice little stainless steel. This gives a little bit more pop. Yeah, and then it looks like an air hose here. Yeah, What's what going on here? air hose is, is um, it's up to 150 PSI air. So pull it out 60 feet long, get a little air chuck in there, fill your tires up. So that way you're just safe. And we do have a tire pressure monitoring system. So if you get low, you're not stranded. You can't find a station to fill it up. Just off on the side road and fill them up right there. Nice, nice. Don't roll oh. on the side of the interstate. I'd recommend somewhere a little safer. Yeah, in a safe place, yeah. obviously. And then uh, you can pump up bicycle tires, uh, basketballs. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Yes, sir. Floats for the kids. Hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Summer season, you know, everybody likes their floats. And we mentioned the pressure washer right here. If you look right here, this is the pressure washer right here with a little hose wand right there. You have your DI die switch. You can go front or rear. Pretty simple system, man. It just works great. I mean, puts out four gallons of water a minute and get all the way to the top. It just makes life a lot easier. I mean, you're spending this money, you gotta keep it looking clean. Absolutely. And I like to point out all the little details. There's different levels of high pressure hoses. If you go shopping for high pressure hoses, the blue is gonna be non-scuff. This looks to be a two wire non-scuff hose, which is gonna be the most expensive power wash hose you could buy. They could have cut corners and gotten a cheaper hose, but I came from this industry, so I, I know my stuff and not a lot of people would, would know that, but there's definitely levels to different pressure washer hoses and pressure washers. This is no joke, ladies and gentlemen, for an electric pressure washer, four gallons a minute. I think this might even be a level up from what I used professionally day in and day out. Uh, now we've got the power pulse. You know what power pulse is, is a lot of people talk about batteries and different stuff. If you have a cell going bad in a battery, it could damage the whole battery system. What this power pulse does is if you have a bad cell, the others override it and help it out and keep producing out your power. So therefore you're not stranded. Nice. And also, gives the battery a lot more longevity too. Yes, sir. And real quick, before you close that, I just want to point out how everything is finished out with that polished stainless, just such a nice look. Now talking about, you know, all that polished stainless, now these wheels are definitely popping. That looks like chrome to me, uh, not aluminum. What? Uh... It is a chrome Alcola wheel. Do you know how you tell the difference? How? The chrome ones don't have the little Alcola sticker on them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. So, pretty simple. Uh, you can see our big airbags right there. That's a good shot of the airbag right there if you can get inside that. And I want to hit on that real quick of how we do our airbags. Our airbags are outer, meaning they're not on the interior chassis beam. They're right there at the wheels. And what that does is our theory is, so if I stand like this, you can easily come up and push me over. If I stand like this, I got more stability. Simple, simple engineering. 
Visit Sarah. Thanks to ZF and our engineering team for coming up with this awesome suspension package. So it gives you that nice floaty feel down the road. On top of our ZF dampening control shock system, you can change it from sport to comfort. So if it's pretty windy outside, you can adjust it with our easy steer your steering. And then on top of that, you can adjust your suspension package as well. So if it ain't great conditions, you're still enjoying the ride. But we did have a chance to do a test drive video yes, in a 2022. Did. I'll leave a link to that yeah, in the description below where did. Josh showed us that. That was a fun drive. We did a couple. We did one in a 21 and one in a 22. So. Yes, we did. We got this right here. This is this dual side feel. Um, once again, I know I've hit on this in the past. Or if you guys, I keep talking about it, but this is the camera right here that lets you know right when you're at the fuel stop. The fuel pump, you got one on this side and the other side. Easily to look at on your 18 inch infotainment screen in there. A little bit more storage right here. It's kind of blocked off right there. So what we do was we have a half and half storage here. So you do actually have a good bit of storage in this. Once again, they got creative. A lot of people may do a pass through right here, but it's not as wide. They decide to go not pass through, but do two storage units a little bit wider. So therefore they're just maximizing their space very well. They're very, very creative uh, with this coach. See right in here, we have obviously our Braun executive step here that is just so solid. It's yes, a good sir. Solid step. You want to jump on that and show them? Uh... Yeah, you don't even see the coach <laughs> budge. And I, I'm not the lightest guy in the world. What's the gross vehicle weight of this coach? 63,300 pounds. Uh, I don't know the cargo carrying on this particular coach because they vary from coach to coach because um, different options just weigh different things. About six, seven thousand is usually average. Guys. Nice. Now I'm looking forward to seeing this outdoor kitchen up front here. Yeah, we're going to get to that here in a little bit. We're going to get this pop right here with a big old 55 inch TV right there. And you have your aqua hop behind that with your um, charcoal filtration system. Now you also have, remember, you're going to have another exterior TV and you're going to find out that here in a little bit. Yes, sir. We're going to looking forward to showing you guys inside this coach. All right, here we go. Finally, we're getting to the exterior right here. We left it all hanging out right there. So let's bring it on out on the B side here. You guys keep raising the bar on every coach. You got your Norcold freezer right here, refrigerator freezer. It's down in there, 32 degrees. Keeps your uh, beverages a little frosty. As you can sit back and enjoy it on your 55 inch TV with your big patio on it now as you're grilling your uh, steak right here. Um, or vegetables, you know. Or vegetables, you never know. You might want a few vegetables, you might want some fish. Yes, sir. But you know what? If you bring it, you can cook it. Yes, sir. You know, this is a nice electric grill we have here. It's a Kenan electric grill. But we also have really great storage features right through here. And this right here is just a really nice thing, but this is pretty cool. I pointed out earlier, you see this little area right here? Yeah, nice little flashlight. now. Uh, is there more countertop space here for working? Yes, there or? is. You see right through here. Slide these little things out. Nice. And that's just on the one side to well, give on you a little one side because on this particular side right here we have the Norco yeah. refrigerator freezer. Well, this is really cool, but the interior is unlike anything we've ever seen. Josh, you think we could see inside this coach? Let's go check it out, buddy. Sounds good. the interior of this coach is super cool what is going on inside of this coach sir a lot a whole lot a whole lot going on inside this coach inside this mid-entry brand new uh, new coach 1761 just kind of look around and take it all in it's a really amazing coach and a lot of firsts in this coach as well as we continue to do that just kind of look at you see the white and black leather seats up there it really looks good but this right here, we have a little inspiration. Um, you kind of see our pillows and stuff are a little, not your normal, normal interior. This was actually a custom built coach and it was influenced by Mackenzie Child, uh, who's a big designer and his customer really liked Mackenzie Child. So we kind of just had a little fun with it. And Amber went to town. If you kind of look at uh, this fabric couch right here, it's done by Villa. It is a high to bed sofa and it is a little over right at 80 inches. So it's a really long couch to lay out on. So it's real comfortable, but it just looks cool. Yes, sir, absolutely. Really unlike anything we've ever seen. 
and the owners of this coach have owned several Newell yeah. coaches. Do you know how many? I think it's over three at least. At least three yeah, or at least four, three, yes three sir. Three or four, but so they've really gotten very comfortable with the design process and everything. And you kind of see that they're really to reach limits and stuff. So it, I like this, the fact we've put little tassels right there on the ottoman here. Kind of really uh, show a good little accent there. Different um, right there. And that was done in our in-house upholstery apartment. But I did say there's a lot of news on this coach right here. And the cool, pretty cool new, new thing is, is projection TVs have been popular lately. But now we have a 65 inch TV on a lift. This is the first time we've ever done a lift, a TV on a lift that big. We also have a 49 inch TV up front. So you have a lot of TV viewing here. But what's really cool about this 65 inch TV is TVs are getting thinner now. And so we don't have to have so much space for the TV lift as we once did. So TV lifts also can be really cool, but a lot of people didn't like them because it really made the slides tight whenever it came in. Really incredible to see the different technology and how it evolves and how that frees up space in the coach. Now, one thing I'm noticing behind you in the cockpit area, a lot of the new 2023s have the triple screens up top there. Is there a reason that this coach does not have that? Um, is an option for what I gather. Some customers like the single screen up there. And so that's why we went with that right there. Some like to go back to the triple screen. It's really just up to the customer option of what they want. Now the cockpit area up here, absolutely stunning with the two-toned leather and you know all the little details like that piping the floor liner up front here the newell coach pedals what else going on well you know your driver's area is really most important you've seen a lot of us talk about the newell uh, coach cockpit you got a lot of room here you have an 18 inch monitor right there and you also have your ipad mini we control everything in the coach you have a little glove box down there for really good storage look at this pop right here oh yeah a couple of neat things we've done recently is uh, we have put the transmission pad up here so it's easy for the customer to get to because it can be automatic or you can manually gear down or gear up if you'd like. And we switch this over to spider switches. And what's pretty cool with our new N1 system, these are the only red and blue spider switches we have. Everything else is going to be on a 10 inch or a 7 inch monitor screen. If you look, this right here is a 10 inch monitor screen too. And you look right here, we have a system fault. We're in the middle of testing. This coach will probably be delivered in about three weeks, but I'm glad it did this. You see what it's saying right here? A system fault, panel five, hit right there, and we can go through and reset that. Nice. And so you hit it, reset them, letting them finish up their testing, but it's really easy for the customer to operate. It's another big improvement to our electronic system. Also, before I shut this, this right here is leveling right here as well. You also have leveling on your dash up there if you want to use that. Um, and this right here is just another standard slide switch for the slides right here. Um, a lot of dual owners and a lot of valid slide owners will recognize this box right here. This is for the slides, even though you can't operate the slides on the iPad or on the um, Intrepid 2 screen as well, or your iPhone. All right, if you noticed up there, I just hit the reset button, just tapped it, it says system okay. If you wanna know a little bit more about this system right here, our lead engineer, James Nether, he did an amazing video on the Newell N1 system. If you want to tie a link into that, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I'll definitely leave a link to that video with James in the description below. Definitely worth checking out where James goes in depth explaining that whole N1 system. But what it's else is really going amazing. on in this coach? So this right here, I just wanted to show how easy that was. I think that's the first time we've had a fault. We're lucky we just had our executive review, which we've done videos on that before. And so sometimes they'll do faults and different stuff like that to test different things out. But it reset okay. That's just a great how easy that system is. Up here in the dash area, we did not forget about the passenger. This right here is a little monitor system that the passenger can control their own temperature, stereo, lighting, and all that stuff around them. So therefore they have a little panel control things as well. And also we still have the co-pilot navigation up here. Yes, sir. And we finally have some cup holders. A lot of people have been talking about a cup holder. Yeah, I appreciate right that. I like Been that. netting in there. And we also have a 110 outlet right there. Because some people might want to plug their laptop in or whatever while they're going down the road. We still have two cup holders right here yeah. as well. And I got to give everybody a close-up of that wood grain. Just the colors uh, in this cockpit are incredible. If you notice that, that right there matches the wood over there. In the galley there. That's yes, how sir. they did that. It's pretty neat. They did a black countertop right here to kind of match everything. It's like I say, each one of those are custom done for each coach. 
it's really nice when we turn the chairs around you have a nice little coffee table there as well yeah we've talked a little bit about the advantages of mid-entry coaches you know obviously the the big advantage is your passenger has this nice area up here especially while you're going down the road but what are some of the other benefits of a mid-entry and i think this is the third mid-entry that i know of that this customer has owned mid-entry is uh one of those things once you go to it you never go back some people go mid to front but not that often it has happened a few times in our company people really fall in love with the mid-entry because i think they really like it just because it's easy access to a refrigerator and a half bath and people didn't walk it in f through your whole coach it's like almost when you go into your house you can go left or right versus most coaches you can only go around the passenger seat to open it up so it just gives you a different feel of the coach a lot of people feel like even though you do lose a little bit of storage the mid-entry is worth it still and um, it's still about close to 40 percent of our business and i know right now you don't have a bunk coach with a mid-entry but we might be seeing a mid-entry bunk coach stay tuned the team at newell coach has some tricks yeah. up their sleeve uh, you never know what josh is going to bring us uh, so just stay tuned to rv with andrew Steele to see what's coming up yes sir so, once again let's get back to this coach right here if you look up at the ceiling look at that thing probably see a little bit of reflection in there this is a metal type ceiling package we did something new that right there with the accent lights right through there just really shines really well and it brings really kind of brings more ambiance with because you have the black cabinets right here with the white and then that sofa right there it just really ties it all in together if you look right here at this nice recliner it matches the driver and passenger seat don't have the pipe on it but it does have the black and white the same color just like i say this coach is still not completed yet we're on our final stages of it but we still have to add some adjustable shelves and probably there's probably a printer or something like that so we move on from here you're going to see we're not done with this coach yet because what's going to go here is this is going to be a dual coffee maker coach we have our inline coffee maker that'll be in here everything's already pre-plumbed for it it just hadn't arrived yet but um when it does we'll be able to pop that panel off insert that coffee maker you'll have one there and also one right here that's why we have the 110 outlet but they really wanted to maximize their space because if you see right here they use the four range burner oh yeah four range cooktop induction burner right there and i've got to point out how good looking that countertop cover is there just all the little touches that yeah, newell coach does things man i mean you don't want to have it exposed with a little wood on there it makes it look a lot better you know what i mean yes sir pretty cool because that right there is a four range burner it takes up a lot of room people want their countertop space so we added this little feature right here boom nice right see there it gives you a little bit of uh cause the farmhouse sink right here it takes a little bit away but you can do a little dyson and bison right through there yeah. and ready to do <laughs> yes, a little sir. cooking you know i mean you can chef it up in here yes sir you got plenty of room and that's what you want to do here you got a little garbage can right here so you can just bam go to work and wipe away <laughs> i'm not a chef wish i was but my wife takes care of all that but i bet she could uh cook up one heck of a meal in this kitchen right here. Uh, I bet, yes sir. You know, and you also have, uh, I really like how we're doing a lot of vented windows right here. Yeah. Um, right there, and you see how we took the backsplash up with the countertop? Really looks cool, and it got a really good flow with this coach. I really just like this coach a lot. When you walk into this coach, it just seems fun. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's like, we're here to have a good time. It's really cool, and it shows a lot of creativity, and really proud that the customer's done it. I love the creative juices. A couple other neat things they did. Look at this chandelier light right here. It's really, really neat. Square it off, but it gives out good light. This kind of adds a little more omniance. There's a little more flavor to the coach. The coach already has a lot of flavor. But then they say, we don't want wine glasses. We like drinking champagne. <laughs> so let's get us some Newell champagne glasses. Yeah, is that, is that a first Newell champagne? That's the first champagne I saw. We, we always walk a coach a little bit beforehand, get to know it. And you study a coach, and I noticed that right off the bat. That's the first one I've seen. Hey, cheers to the new cheers owners of this coach. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. And look at this right here. This is pretty cool. We've got a little design here. And usually we use Patsy Low paintings. But this right here, we decided to do an inlay design. Looks really nice with the LED light strip and it gives a good pop. And I can't wait to show everybody the doors in the bedroom and the bathroom back there. The inlay is unlike anything I've ever seen. I got a little sneak preview. It's something oh, to get yeah. excited about. See, Andrew's been studying the coach too. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, before we get to that, well, you, you want me to show them off what's in here? Oh my goodness, this is get ready, to probably folks. Pretty little crazy half bath, because once again, this is a fun coach, so you gotta have a good half bath. And you see, once again, our doors do open up, hinge all the way, got a nice curve. 
But if you come right through here, it's uh, got crazy wallpaper in there. It just brings a lot of fun and good uh, atmosphere here. You have the lighted countertop here in the half bath. Once again, good storage in here. Caddy cornered right there, toilet so you can get a little bit more room. Yeah, and when you good open space. this door, I mean, the camera's not doing justice of the detail on the tile work you've got tile work unlike anything i've ever seen and then this is really wild wallpaper with like a big jumping deer i wonder what the story is behind that wallpaper it's and gotta this. be some type of story i still wish i could have uh, asked him beforehand everything and all these coaches that has a purpose and it's so fine detailed it's amazing some might might mean something to the family or something like that you never know they always like throw a little hidden messages in let's come on back here to the bedroom now what i want to talk about is a little bit of an engineering feat we have with this coach right here you're going to see a really big rear bath back here so everybody always asks how do you do that in the mid-entry well we haven't been able to this is the first coach we've been able to do it with we have that ability once again because we um, built our own chassis so what we did was we set the door the entry door a little bit a couple feet up a little bit more forward and we're able to still get a really big slide right here over eight feet this is actually a nine foot six inch long slide and that right there behind you is um close to 11 foot long slide wow in a mid-entry coach with a big rear bath i so, want to show everyone the big rear bath but well, we got up here but we got to close this moment. door here All that's right. An MTV Cribs moment right here, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a cool, simple design. The clean lines and all the lighting and just really a cool design, unlike anything we've ever seen. And this they keep stepping up the ceiling. And then once again, you see how we did the wood package up through here. It flows oh, really well off those accents down right through there. Oh, yeah. And it continues all the way through. Can we close the other door, too, yeah. just to give everybody the full effect here? The full effect. Damn. This is really cool, Josh. Unlike anything we've ever seen. This is a mid-entry. Used to everyone's usually having a mid-entry. They think you have a smaller bedroom. Well, you don't. Try to look right through here. Look how big this countertop is right here. This dresser area. You have an open storage area. I imagine we'll probably put some adjustable shelves in there. Is that a subwoofer down yes, there sir. too? Nice. We do have our um, sheets and everything in right here. But you kind of see you have good dresser stores all throughout but we were able to add six dresser drawers and also a really good size laundry hamper nice now what about a television in the bedroom is there a television uh, in this bedroom yes there is this is the projection tv our 8k laser projection tv right here just drops down you can flip that thing around you also have exterior tv as well so the um, projection tv we've done a few videos on it i believe uh 1715 we did a uh, demonstration on it. Well, that was up there in the front living room. They have it back here in the bedroom. A lot of people love the projection TV. Why? Because you have the dresser storage and you can still have the big window to see out of. Big windows are key because you RV and you're out to see the world. Absolutely. So, and what size bed is this? It looks like definitely a full king size bed it's still. It's actually, yes, yeah, right there in the full king. We're getting more and more of that. And once again, it's tucked in. A good guy I've seen a lot of our videos. They're tucked in this will come out a little bit more but as we're filming coaches and have a lot of people running in and out of here we tuck it back and the reason why we initially tuck it back is is whenever the slides are in so you can shimmy around back to your rear bath um as for instance this right here does not have a coat closet right there or anything so if they want to do that they shimmy around to the closet right back here so um that's very very important that you can get around the bed without having to crawl over it in order to do that we tuck the mattress in. So most of the time, whenever people are out, they get parked, they just put the mattress out and it's easy to do. I love these pillows. And you said that there was, a, what was the name of the interior designer that inspired? Well, Amber's the interior designer, but the influence they have, sometimes we have different things that might influence someone. This particular customer, like the McKenzie Child designs and stuff like that. So we kind of had a little bit brighter colors and it really just made this coach pop very well. Unlike anything we've ever seen, yeah. but really turned out nice. Very creative. As people build more and more coaches, they get more and more creative, get more and more comfortable with it. And it kind of comes like these little theme coaches are a lot of fun to do. And it's a challenge too. It's not easy to do it, but once again, Nathan, Amber, and Cindy pull it off. And then our upholstery guys, Dave and his guys do an amazing job. We just got such a great team here, Andrew. Takes, I just a, I takes a whole team takes to do it. Team. I try to give everybody a shout out because they deserve it. I mean, I got the easy job here. I just get to show off what they do. 
these guys are the ones that make it happen. These guys and girls are amazing. We're so lucky to be here at Newell Coach in Miami, Oklahoma, because what they turn out, every coach, the attention to detail they put through is amazing. And I really like this coach because it really shows it off. Even if you see something new right here, you see how that LED light strips right through there? Yes, sir. That took a lot of time and effort to get that in. And this is another thing we're able to pull off. Let's go back here to this rear bath. I like that bright rug right away. Yeah. Noticing that heated towel bar, that gets me excited. Oh, yeah. But Josh, you want to show them how big it is for size back there? Yeah, what's pretty cool is, okay, when you walk back here, it's a flat floor walking all the way back here. So we maximize the height of the shower. That's really key because you obviously have the engine right there. So there's a step up to the toilet. But if you kind of look, I'm six feet tall. And I got plenty of room to move around here. It's a really good size shower for a mid-entry coach. Yeah, and that really cool shower yeah, head. Rain shower head right there. Six LED lights, and you got a nice little um, shower caddy right there. Yeah, and I, I'm always so tempted to press that power button, but that will <laughs> turn the shower on. We don't want to do that to Josh. We should have filled back there. Look how that drain is. It's the hidden drain. I really kind of like that feature we have back there and it just kind of makes it flow really well with the back splash the shower walls look really really nice it's really stunning the design that you guys come up with Good job now i want you to check out that back splash it's kind of cool it kind of matches a little bit with the half bath a little yeah you know? a little bit different cool pattern and then again the underlit is this an underlit agate as yes, well yes it is yes wow, sir that's... it is what's pretty cool about this right here is this right here will lift up but above here, in that big shower, they'll have a television back there that'll play through the oh, uh, nice. bathroom mirror. Kind of something pretty fun. Now, we don't have our normal ones, but this right here can open up a little bit. But we also added a little extra makeup mirror right there with a the light on it. Yes, sir. So we do have the bidet. Oh, yeah. That's getting a lot more popular. Mm -hmm. How many of your coaches come with uh, bidets, do you think, now? Well, it's an option. It's about half are doing it. Right across from the bidet toilet is we have the washer and dryer, and once again, we do have a front end loader washer dryer. You can just push those things right back in there. And underneath here, we have a couple little stores right there, story detergents and things such as that. Yes, sir. Um, this right here, this particular washer dryer brand, we had to elevate. Some we put flat on the floor. This right here, we had to elevate. Now, we still have a great closet space right back here. Oh, that cedar closet. too. I can smell it from that, five feet yeah. away as soon as you open that door. Pop it even, we have more back there. So if we can get storage space in here, closet space, we put it in. And then is that an extra leaf for the? Yes, the dinette will come out. So you have an extra leaf and underneath the bed, you'll have some extra cushions as well. So you can go from a four seater to a six seater really, really easy. And it's all operated push button. It just comes out on a motor, the seats do. Pop the cushions in, pop the leaf in, bam, you're entertaining. Nice. Josh, I really appreciate you sharing this incredible Newell Coach with myself and the folks out on YouTube. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to custom order a new Newell Coach like this, or maybe purchase one of your pre-owned Newell Coaches, who should they get a hold of? Just get a hold of me. My name's Josh Snyder at Newell Coach, Josh S at NewellCoach.com, or try me at 918-542-3344, extension 201. Awesome, Josh. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Newell Coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Safe travels.